Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Grow Mode for Lamborghini here today for part 47 for the Portuguese Grand Prix. For the first time since 2021, we come into this race with a one point lead in the championship after last time out in Brazil. We now go into qualifying where we have put it on pole position. In terms of engine wear and stuff like that, we have a very worn engine and with two races to go, we're going to need a new engine. So we're going to take the penalty, take the hit. This may be a pivotal point in the championship fight with George Russell. It's an arrest we've got to take. We're going to be starting stone dead last. So let's see how far we can get in the order. But let's start at the back allows George pole position and it's Mercedes 1-2. Then it's Verstappen and Charles Leclerc, Lando Norris and Valtteri Bottas, Joe and our teammate Piastri, Gasly and Lance Stroll running up the top 10, Sainz and Ocon, Alonso and Sonoda, Fittipaldi and Liam Lawson, Hauger and Alex Albon, Magnussen and Logan Sargent and the final row of the grid is De Vries and we are alongside him. So on to the grid now, it's going to be the usual easy one stopper starting on the softs going to the mediums no way we're doing soft to hard that strategy at the bottom that's not happening but let's just see then how far up the grid we can go i think the aim has to be top five we're racing in portugal and it's a good start from the freeze we've also got a great start and a pull to the inside we pass there williams are past both williams but Pass many cards into the first corner, which has gone down the inside of our teammate. The two Alpines have made contact. We've nearly made contact with the other Alpine. Going into turn two, we're up into P11. Nine cars into one corner. What a start. And now Ocon trying to come back at us into turn four, I think that is. But we fend him off. And now get after it, the Aston Martin of Fernando Alonso. We're all over the back of him, can't find a way through. As we enter sector two. And now try and get into the points. This is a replay of the start then. Pierre Gasly going absolutely nowhere at the start. Then you can see us going the inside there's Ocon as well and then he's turned into the side of his teammate giving him front wing damage he will then pit at the end of his lap putting him all the way down at the back he's gone down the inside of his teammate nearly pulled it off but this is a crucial camera angle then for the Alpine contact this is Ocon's start he has a great start he goes past Piastri and George Russell there has had a bad start, he's gone over the sausage curb and bounced into the side of his teammate, so not the start Alpine wanted, and now this is the great exit Ocon gets as we run a bit wide to try and look round our outside then, but we forced him wide and he had to back out of that one. Now George Russell from pole position then has gone absolutely nowhere at the start from pole all the way down I think he's down into eighth as we saw from Ocon's point of view he nearly got down the inside of him he's been nearly done round the outside by Lance Stroll but he's seen P1 slip away very very quickly at the start here in Portimao and he's drag racing the Aston Martin now does he get the job done? He holds around the outside, he does stay ahead of the Aston Martin there. Now though, on to lap two. For us, we're hunting down Fernando Alonso in what is his penultimate Grand Prix. We're going to break late and we're going to catch the double world champion napping and sail around the outside of Fernando Alonso. You've got to get up very, very early in the morning to go around the outside of Fernando Alonso. We've caught him napping. And now we're on the back of Lance Stroll. And ahead of Lance Stroll, we try to go. Lance Stroll holds us off around the outside. We're now around the outside and we've done both. Aston Martin's around the outside on the same lap. 
ahead of us now. This is George Russell trying to get back in up the order after his poor start. Down the inside of Joey goes, which is allowing us to get all over the back of him. Joe fends him off in his McLaren. And now we are setting our sights on our championship rival. This start to the Grand Prix could not have gone any perfectly for us as we can ascend it late down the inside of George Russell and in four laps time we see our championship rival in our mirrors how we've managed to do that George's bad start may be another pivotal point in the championship as now we swap Joe the dummy move up into P7 in just five laps here in Portimao we are on fire here and now we're on the back of the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz we're looking to do what we did to Fernando Alonso Sainz sees it coming but we do the old switcheroo side by side now with Carlos Sainz we go around the outside we get the job done we go off the track we stay ahead we should really give them that position back but we're not going to because we weren't asked and there is the Red Bull of Max Verstappen getting past Charles Leclerc. Bottas getting involved as well, trying to go around the outside. And now this is allowing us to get even closer as we try and get the exit. And we do, we catch Charles Leclerc napping, who had to really back off to avoid hitting the back of Foundry Bottas. And that just allowed us to go through. Um, we're now up into P5 my, my aim was P5 before we started we've done it in 9 laps and now we've turned that into P4 as we overtake Valtteri Bottas next up Max Verstappen I think we've entered God mode here round the outside of Max Verstappen and we're up onto the podium in just 11 laps in this Grand Prix don't know what I had for my breakfast, but we are absolutely flying on lap 14 now. The gap between us and Lando Norris was staying around two seconds, so our soft tyres did start to wear off in the end. We're going to make a one hand only stop onto the mediums. There's Lewis Hamilton and just out in front of us. There, behind us, rather. And now on to the mediums that we go. We're going to come out P3 and net P3 by the time everyone else has boxed. And it's just ahead of Lando Norris. He's fitter Powdy. And now Lando needs to get that done very quickly. But he couldn't Lando. And it's pretty much copy and paste of what happened last time out in Brazil between us and Lando. Where he got the undercut on us that day. And then getting caught behind Lance Stroll brought us back into play and the exact same things happened here but with Fittipaldi now we're right on the back of Lando Norris as both of us get past Fittipaldi now lap 17 we're hunting down the McLaren we're getting closer and closer and closer as we head down the long straight we're going to go to the outside sail around the outside of the McLaren and up into P2 in this Grand Prix in what is turning out to be a sensational Grand Prix for us. Lap 18, the gap no four seconds between us and Lewis Hamilton. We set the fastest lap in the race on lap 19 as we hunt down Lewis Hamilton for the win here in Port Tamal, trying to make it a last of first challenge. Lewis Hamilton really needs to keep us behind for the sake of his teammate in in this race. We are all over the back of him. We're going to look for any opportunity. We're going to try to the inside. We're just too far back. We're making our Lamborghini very, very big in the mirrors of that Mercedes as we enter sector two now. We're still all over the back 
of our former Brit, the seven time world champion who really can't get the car under him, seems George can. So, end of lap 30, onto lap 31. This is the closest we've been to Lewis Hamilton, but we're just too far back still to have a go at the lead. This has been the hardest overtake we've had all day long. But we've got two more laps to get the job done. Now where we went to the outside of Fernando Alonso, we're still too far back to do anything on the Mercedes there. So as we could bond now to the end of lap 31, this is the closest we've managed to get to Lewis Hamilton. But this is where I could just couldn't get the exit off of this corner to have a go down into turn one. But this time we seem to have got it right and we're getting a very nice run now on Lewis Hamilton as we're getting closer and closer with the DRS over the overtake button deploying all the time. Down the inside, we're swapping the dummy, go round the outside and into the lead of the Portuguese Grand Prix after starting stone dead last in this Grand Prix the risk of taking the penalty very much not a risk at all we've made up for it as Dennis Hauger retires on the penultimate lap of the Grand Prix and on the final lap of the Grand Prix look at the gap we pulled out to Lewis Hamilton as we come towards the end of the lap in what has been a sensational drive we have quite literally entered God mode I don't even think Max Verstappen could do that and look at him in, in Formula 1 at the minute but we're going to round at the final corner it's going to be a hat-trick of wins in a row and what an important win that could be Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friend. Well done. They take the chequered flag then here in Portimao in what has been another outstanding Grand Prix. What a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today. So that's been your Portuguese Grand Prix and essentially you lost the first challenge. 21 positions gained in that Grand Prix. Most of them in the opening couple of laps when you're up into the podium places by lap 11. That was just a great start to start really gaining, getting from last to 11th by the first corner really kind of helped our race. But we still had to work for it in the later stages, especially that final overtake to take the lead on Lewis Hamilton. He really needed to keep us behind for the sake of his teammate, but George finishing down in P5, he really needed to convert that pole and that start really has cost him Piastri picking up the final point as well. Down at the back though, Dennis Helga a one and re retirement, Pierre Gasly in 15th and lucky for him after a contact at turn 1 with his teammate had to box for a new front wing and just never really recovered. So in terms of the championship then, we will get a title decider under the lights of Abu Dhabi, 17 points the gap between us and George Russell. Did I think after around about Singapore that would be the gap absolutely not I thought that was it in terms of the championship for us at that stage we found another level to pull ourselves back into it there's still many drivers still yet to score this season 
And not only will it be a title decider in the Drivers' Championship, it will also be a title decider in terms of the Constructors' Championship, as now the gap between us and Mercedes is just 5 points, so it's still all to play for. It will all come down to one more race this season. This is what we all want to see, a title decider. Still two teams yet to score in Alfretari and Haas as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the race. What a race it was. Last to first challenge complete. That has put us in a great position for the title decider next time out in Abu Dhabi. 17 points a gap in the drivers, 5 points a gap in the constructors. Can we do the double or will it be Mercedes? Will it be a second for us or a first for George? We will find out in Abu Dhabi. Goodbye.